Hello folks, welcome to the Man Cave. Hope everybody is keeping well. So this is gonna be a really quick video. So about a month or so ago, I purchased a really good camera. It was the Insta360 X3. Got it through Amazon, cost about 500 pounds, and I've got the Moto vlogging camera. I really like the camera, get some really great footage from it. However, on two occasions, uh, having used the Moto vlogging kit with all the extendable arms and the mounts that you can put onto the bikes, etc., on two occasions with the extendable arm on, it's gone and it's worn uh, the camera along the tarmac. First time is okay, we just had a little bit of damage to the top here. But the second time uh, last week when I was test riding the Kawasaki H2 supercharged thing, as you can see here, we had a bit of a ground impact and I was dragging it along the ground for a little while, about 40 miles an hour, and it's worn through the top here. But there's no damage to the lenses. I've got no lens protection. I've got no uh, camera cover on it, which I must actually now go and get. Um, but the issue is this lens now is blurry. So something clearly has moved inside and this lens is absolutely pin sharp, no problems at all. But there is no damage uh, no noticeable damage whatsoever to the lenses. So I suspect something, something has moved in the camera module. So I've already looked on YouTube. There's a chap and I'll put a, a link in the description down below. I've corresponded with him. So he had a, a similar kind of thing and he's replaced the camera module. I think his problem was to do with the lens, but he just went the full hog and replaced one of the camera modules, which comes with the lens attached. So he sourced it from a company called, uh, it was via AliExpress, I think it was, but the camera is from a company called Mputec or something like that. Again, I'll put a link in the description down below. So I'm gonna replace the whole camera module of this camera because all I'm getting now are blurred images from this camera, as you can see here. So my 360 is now 180. So I can use the single lens on the lens, which is absolutely pin sharp still. And then I can still select 360 and get the 360 degree camera. But when I go from the good lens and then scroll through the bad lens, we go from nice and pin sharp to blurry, but I can still actually use the 360 so I can still get shots of me on the bike with the arm extended via a suitable mount. I'm gonna get the new camera module, fit it, and hopefully that will clear and rectify the blurriness that I'm now getting from this Insta360. So the chap whose video I watched about the module replacement, he's had no issues with the quality of the replacement camera module. So I'm more than happy with going ahead with the purchase and then fitting it when it comes down in hopefully about 10 days time from now. The only thing I will say, if you've got one of these, you've got the Moto vlogging kit, attaching it to your bike with the supplied mounts, make sure the mounts are screwed up properly. I thought I had done maybe the vibration and maybe the wind pushing against the camera has just caused a little bit of movement and caused the arm to be not very secure and then caused a the drooping of the arm and the rubbing of the camera onto the tarmac. So folks, check your mounts and go and get a suitable protective case for your Insta360 X3. And if you have got a suitable case, put some comments in the comment section down below. So that's the end of part one. So it's just to let you know what I'm doing to my Insta360 and hopefully part two will be up and running in about two weeks time from now. And that will be the replacement of the blurry camera module on the Insta360 X3. So that's it folks, ride safe and we'll see you again soon in part two.